Good morning, Detector Rats. Park Rat Pat, right here. Back out at the old church permission, where the family house used to be. Gonna be swinging it hard today. Let me uh, see if I can show you here. Today we're using the V3i. We'll probably be using this out here from now on. Since enough big junk has come out of the ground, it's time to bring in the heavy hitting machine. The one I can really specialize, customize, to all the different conditions that exist out here. Let's see what kind of goodies we can pull up. I'm gonna get geared up and get started. I'll catch you with the first hole. Very first target out here. Don't know how I ever missed it before. Crusty zinc. All right, super stuff. Get the day rolling with a penny. That's the way I like it. Okay, we're out close to this rock driveway. Second signal was a dime, shallow signal. And uh, sure enough, looks like it is. Let's check it out a little closer. Okay, it's a rosy. In good shape. Let's see what year it is. Probably not old, old. But uh, I'll zoom in and we'll find out. Okay, it looks like an 84. I do believe. Yep, okay, modern dime. Good stuff. Throw that one in the pouch. Catch it the next hole. Alright, target number three turns out to be a washer. Now, I went for this because even though it was pretty erratic on the display, it did keep having a little high ping to it, so always worth checking out. All right, moving forward. Okay, just got dime number two on the day. Looks like this one's a 96, so good stuff. All right, got a couple penny signals around here. Let's see if they pan out. Alrighty, did pull a penny here. Nice down there, not too deep. And it's an 81, man. That thing is awesome. You gotta love it. Absolutely got to love it. <laughs> All right. Hey, hey, Detector Rats. Just a quick little chat here. A lot of people comment that they like how enthusiastic I am when I'm metal detecting, and even the dumbest finds make me happy, and it's true. I love doing this. Everything I find makes me happy. When I get these little copper pennies, man, that is such a joy, and it should be for you, too. Now, here's my thinking. It'd be great to go out there in this world and find a 200 year old Connecticut copper. Awesome stuff, yes, I would love that myself. But for most of us, that may never happen. What's happening here though is, I've got a 1981 penny that's solid copper. 100 years from now, you know how hard these are gonna be to find? Exactly. It's gonna be one of those things where people look, look, I pulled the copper, I pulled the copper. They'll be watching it on their YouTube or MeTube or whatever they call it at that time. And everybody will be like, they'll wipe it off and they'll see that nice shiny look. To it. And everybody will be, oh my God, yeah, whoa, fist bumping each other and pff, having a great time. You're out there and you're finding copper pennies like this. You're finding tomorrow's treasures today. You cannot beat that. You absolutely can't beat that. That's a super blessing. Some people, many, many years from now, could be watching my videos long after I'm gone going, man, that was one lucky son, you know. Hey, I've watched videos just this week, and people are like, ooh, it's silver, it's silver, and they wipe it off, and they're like, oh, it's just a barber. Well, I'll take a barber. It's like, man, if that is your attitude, stop swinging. You need to be happy. You need to feel blessed when you pull something good. All right, that's enough of this rambling. Let's get on with the hunt. All right, this one was only about an inch down. It's a shield penny and the crowd goes wild. Yeah, all right, way to go Park Rat. Man, I wish I was you. And we get another goodie. Look at that, 1968 Memorial. Maybe I should get it graded. Well, nah. All right, let me keep swinging. 
all right all right been a decent day for clad got me a 1988 dime here that's sweet all right in the pouch still no relics man hoping a relic pops up soon well all right all right got the first quarter on the day that's a beautiful thing i love it 1993 in the pouch all right only about well, six inches away or so another quarter this one's a state quarter can't see which one but hey we'll look at it later all righty walking this stuff over to the truck look at that first i found the long pieces and then i found that ring piece there seemed to have something else attached to it absolutely no clue what this could have been but now it's out of the way and i'm surprised with all the digging i've done out here that i ever missed this in the first place it was like three inches down all right is in the pouches it's gonna get let's get on with the hunt all right i've been scanning along getting some trash some big staples and stuff like that i got a great signal here and i mean it was right on a solid 82 so i thought okay this is going to be a quarter or a dime but i looked down in there and that ain't no quarter or dime let's see what we got oh this is big maybe it's a car emblem dude oh that's a belt buckle sweet probably not extremely extremely old but uh Oh, that is wicked. Wicked cool. Awesome. Oh, I might be able to like get dates and stuff off of that. Let me clean this up and I'll check right back with you. All right, definitely cool stuff, man. And if you can read that, solid brass, copyright, looks like 1978, Baron Buckle, Taiwan, 4497. That is too cool awesome stuff wish it had been older but hey joey what's up dude i found your buckle man yeah swing by later i'll be out in the yard having a beer come on i'll give it back to you dude <laughs> cool stuff hey hey detect rats it was a short adventure today i didn't get much after that joey belt buckle lots of junk and stuff but still had a good time out here Hope you enjoyed the video. You're going to see me next in the wrap-up. I got to go do stuff. Okay, Detector Rats, it is roundup time, and then we'll get to that giveaway. Sweet stuff. All right. Bits of trash. This isn't all the trash. You saw some bigger pieces earlier. But uh, always something interesting out there to find. And yeah, you got to go through a lot of trash to get the good stuff. And good stuff is kind of subjective. You know, some people might think only silver is good stuff or only gold is good stuff or, you know, it's, it's all up to the individual. The important thing is to have fun doing what you're doing. And if people don't like what you're finding, let them go watch someone else. You know, if you want the rainbows and unicorns on every hunt, check out the Hoover boys or someone else. No offense to them. They're great. They find some good stuff, that's for sure, and they put in a lot of effort to do it. So definitely not trying to down them. I'm just saying, you know, if you want to see the everyman detector and those kind of videos, you got to check out the little guys, man. They, you know, follow guys like me or PD Sandigger. If you haven't checked him out, great channel. Go give him a look. I'll try to remember to put a description down below in the... Uh, in the uh, description all right so this was the trash for the day I got 85 cents that's not a bad day for a park rat three dimes two modern quarters five pennies I think one of them's a copper that one right there I believe is a 81 or a 82 so definitely yep 81 nice so good stuff there and of course my find of the day Joey, sweet man, nice belt buckle, uh, made in 1978, so this thing could have been in the ground for upwards of 40 years, and looking at it, no, that could be a 73, so either way, in the ground a long, long time, 
glad I rescued it. Wish I uh, knew someone named Joey. But hey, if somebody wins named Joey, they may end up getting this buckle. I'll shine it up and uh, make it pretty full. All right. Now, let's take a look at today's prizes. I know we're doing things out of order, but you know, that's part of being the park rat. I like to mix it up, all right? Today's big silver prize is the 1943 Walking Liberty Half. A beautiful coin. This may not be the best example, but like I say, these come out of my personal collection. So uh, hope you enjoy that, whoever you are, mystery winner. Uh, we're also getting the 1999 United States Mint Proof Set. We'll plop that stuff out of there. Okay, so we've got the five state quarters that were issued that year. Very beautiful. Yep, there we go. Get all the Georges the right way. Awesome stuff there. Uh, certificate of Authenticity. It's nothing without that. And then here we've got the dime, penny, nickel, and the half dollar nice stuff all right yeah good deal and as an added little bonus today's winner is also getting who almost lost it a five-piece eye loop set many of y'all will recognize this yes i shop at harbor freight why not their stuff's fairly good fairly cheap and we can always use these i know i lose them break them you know misplace them so Good stuff as an added little bonus. All right, let's go take a look and see who today's winner is. Okay, I have the video loaded. Let's find out how many unique commenters we had. Do, 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 113. Awesome. Thank you all so much for participating. This is really an awesome giveaway. I'm having a great time doing this. Let's find out who today's winner is. I said, let's find out who today's winner is. Oh, okay, there we go. It was going to give me a hard time, huh? Brrr, drum roll. And the winner is... Some Beach Detecting. Awesome! Ah, uh, I can't keep up. So many detectors videos plus my own lol it's all good fun yes it is congratulations some beach detecting uh hit me up in the email down in the description give me your information and we'll be able to get this prize sent out to you congratulations my friend remember keep entering you can win more than once all right all right once again i'd like to thank everybody for playing along in this uh, giveaway I'm having. It looks like pretty soon we'll be hitting 600 subscribers. Now the last day of the advent giveaway will be on December 24th. So if we hit 600 subscribers, it looks like Christmas day, I'll be doing a 600 subscriber <coughs> giveaway. Yes, that's exciting, isn't it, Lucy girl? All right, God bless, like, share, subscribe, and never forget, you are only one hole away from a really good day. God bless.